what's good you guys welcome and welcome back to my channel this is vanilla cooks and today i'll be sharing a very helpful kitchen hack that saves a ton of time ginger and garlic paste recipe the holiday season is drawing night and we may not have all the kitchen time that we may need or maybe you just want to preserve your garlic and ginger so they don't lose their potency or are you just getting back from work super tired but you still need to whip something out for the family well then hello because this is a time saver that comes in and if this sounds like something you're interested in please do the needful so we can get to it have you done it good let's get right to it alrighty love so for our ingredients today we have our ginger garlic we have our vegetable oil and for our natural preservatives we have some lemon salt and turmeric powder if you have the raw turmeric great if you don't the powder is just fine so i'll be using this mini blender that comes with the bigger blender this is for your spices and nuts and dry ingredients and stuff like that so i just find they are blended more effective than the bigger one in terms of smaller proportions like these if you have the bigger one great so to that i'll add my garlic turmeric powder lemon juice So the preservatives are in now, so I now add my vegetable oil, cover it up, turn it upside down so the liquid settles at the base of the blade to make the blending easier. Once that is done, just start your blending process. Just like that, blend until smooth because that is the consistency and texture you are going for, okay? Okay, so this is what we have now. This is what we are working with. It's not liquidy because once you refrigerate, it's going to thicken up even more. So this is it after I just got it out of the blender. And you can see that it looks quite loose and liquidy. And this is it after I refrigerated it for about two hours. Do you see the difference? This is extremely thick and tasty. The perfect consistency we were looking for so starting with the ginger ginger has a lot of strands and threads so you might want to cut them into smaller pieces against the gradients or across the gradient just like so you know smaller bits if you don't cut your ginger into smaller bits you are going to end up with strands and threads in your paste and you do not want that that is not cute okay so this is what we are working with now so you repeat the same process you did for the ginger add your turmeric salt lemon juice and vegetable oil the vegetable oil gives the ginger and garlic you know this share butter effect but if you would be using your ginger in your beverages and juices i suggest you use water for the blending instead of the vegetable oil and it will be just fine okay use water if you know you'll be using your ginger in beverages juices and other stuff other than that the vegetable oil increases the longevity ginger is a root vegetable and so i don't trust that it will be completely clean with just water so you can try using citric acid vinegar or even some of the lemon juice to wash it okay so this is what we are working with now it's pretty thick it's going to thicken up even more once you refrigerate it this is it after i refrigerated it for two hours and you see how thick it has gotten yes that is exactly what we are looking for however you can go ahead and keep yours in your ice cube tray and freeze them for a longer period of time so it can last you for a longer period of time okay it's going to last you for about six months y'all six months or even over okay shake it up cover it up you know mm -hmm. just like so and this is what it looks like once it is frozen okay this lasts you for up to six months guys take it out like so you can keep them in ziploc bags and take it back to your freezer or you can just refrigerate them just like this keep them in glass jars or plastic containers cover it up and refrigerate them and it will last you for up to three months okay this is a time saver y'all and this is a very good kitchen hack i hope you all try this thank you so much for being with me today and i'll see you guys in my next one Bye!